I'm going to kick off with the precarious position of the Prime Minister from Saturday's Times, Sajila. What are they saying? Um, so Liz Truss uh, insists she won't resign after making Jeremy, Jeremy Hunt Chancellor. And I think I've been following this all day long on the TV. Uh, and she basically held a questions uh, at, at, with the press yep. and literally only took four. And it was like she was playing Russian roulette. Literally, like, I'm going to go for... And hoping that no-one was going to shoot her. Really? And, 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 and she didn't really answer any of the questions. But she's basically replaced um, Kwasi uh, Kwarteng, who is in some corner somewhere crying, yes. probably singing Lana's Morissette. You that's know, what you do, isn't yeah, it, when you yeah, do that's what job. you do. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, um, yeah, so it's, it's, you know, she's basically saying kind of fighting talk, coming back. She doesn't think she's going to go. But let's not forget that yesterday, I think it was, that Quasi said, we're here for another month. Oh, you know, he was very determined yeah, that he's yeah, staying on. Another, we didn't even last another day. But, but that's so, how we knew. I mean, yeah. we knew he was gone for the chop because yeah, he was so knew. determined. Yeah. And um, in her very uh, kind of like Eliza Doolittle voice that she has, uh, she said, what I've done today is made sure that we have economic stability in the country. Has she really? Has well, she... Nick, what do you think? Because, you know, some would say that sacking a chancellor after such a short period of time is a sign of desperation. What do you think? It's not good, Andrew, definitely. <laughs> and especially when you hire Jeremy Hunt as the replacement, who Jeremy Hunt loves China. I mean, his plan for economic growth is to invade Taiwan, or as he calls it, the rightful province of China. You know how he loves China. During yes. the lockdowns, he was saying we should copy China. Anyway, so Hunt is a terrible idea. But yeah, Truss is in obviously massive trouble. As Sajila said, she was asking for questions at the press conference, but were, none of them were good. Basically, it was like she went to the Telegraph thinking they might be sympathetic. They were like, yeah. why didn't you resign? Then it was the sun. Why didn't you resign? And it was like, Pester, why didn't you resign and apologise? So she kept trying to get a Good question, and it was not forthcoming. I think she's in massive trouble. The only way she can really recover, in, in my opinion, is some sort of Hail Mary, like something, some horrible escalation happens in the war and she's seen to deal with it well or something. It you would mean take like something... the way that, that, that Margaret Thatcher regained popularity after the Falklands? She needs a Falklands. She needs a Falklands. She needs one she needs, fast. Well, well, I don't so know. So why did she invade, I don't know, Wales? She kind of had a Falklands because she went over those talks, didn't she, initially, with, yeah. with uh, uh, Putin before he invaded to try and talk him down and then he invaded. Yes. And then the Queen, she went to meet her and then she died and then she killed our economy and she nearly killed our pensions. So basically... Basically, it's, it's, everything it's not touched, looking turns, good. But this thing with Kwa, with Kwarteng as well, you, you kind of think, you know, it's been, you know, what's that? That's the, that'll be the fourth, Jeremy Hunt will be the fourth Chancellor this year. I mean, they are dropping like flies. I mean, it's such a retail battery advert. The it's old it's days. not good. <laughs> yeah. So can she drop, can, can she pull that? I mean, the, the, she was saying at the televised press conference today, she was saying the mission stays the same. But is that just dog, doggedness? Is that wise? You know, if the mission is clearly not working out for her, would she be wise at this point to just pivot and maybe... Change. Yeah, well, she obviously is pivoting with all the U-turns on the budget. Look, in a way, the one thing you can say for Truss is that she went with her belief. She believed in growth. She believed in this kind of quasi thatcherite budget, so she yeah. did it. The smarter thing, the more prudent thing, of course, would have been to basically carry on Boris's agenda, but without the dodgy moral character. That's yes. actually what people pretty much voted for. But she didn't do that. And I, I've been reading Dominic Cummings's blog. I've been reading it quite a lot to the point where I, I think I need to go for an eye test, but that's a joke from 2020. But their, he, he put that, that their actions, meaning Liz Truss and her yeah. team, resemble what you'd see if her enemies could brief on her behalf a few times per day. I mean, it has been that bad. Yeah, absolutely. What do you think, Sajida, of this... Uh Intimation that there's going to be a, a backdoors plot to install a, a joint ticket of Penny Mordaunt and Rishi Sunak. Yeah, I, I mean, I, the thing is, yeah, they're going to go for that. And I'm, and I'm, I hear apparently that all the WhatsApp groups, you know, of, of MPs is going crazy right of now. Of course, they're plotting and planning. Of course, and wouldn't you just love to be a fly on those kind of? Well, that's where the strategies board. happen. Yeah. except we will find out because they always yeah, leak. I know, I know, they always leak but conveniently. But I think, I think, because they, they could do it. But what to what good? So what good, because, yeah. you, yes, you can overthrow her, you can get someone else in. She was unpopular from the beginning. Why didn't you get that? The public never really got on the, well, with they, the back of her. Well, they didn't go yeah. for Kemi. Which they're, they're not going to, and like you said, the public are not going to want uh, more than no. sooner. And the question is now, is, 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 it, is it an existential threat for the party? That's the question. Are we going to need this new start-up party that Cummings wants? You know, are the Tories going to finally be obliterated? I mean, they've managed to survive all kinds of things. We had the Howard, Michael Howard sort of wilderness years when everyone yeah. said they were done. And they are very robust, but can they survive this? Well,